Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 15th episode of Tate no Yusha no Nari Agari, or the Rising of the Shield Hero. Last episode, we met with this noble, this pretty cool noble guy that Melty knew, and uh, he got into some trouble for harboring some criminals and all that, and we had to go rescue him. Well, we had, actually, we had to go rescue Melty. That was kind of the important thing because. She sacrificed herself to uh, to work things out a bit, but we didn't like that. We don't want our friend to sacrifice themselves, so especially, especially, uh, you know. So she, we had to go help her, and we did. But there's also the thing with Rautalia and her past, and this no douchebag noble's part in it, and she's kind of working through that as well. So so we ended off on. Let's see how all that pans out. So three, two, one, play. Alright guys, so that was some Raftalia backstory. Because this is not where we left off, yeah. Definitely some Raftalia backstory. So, in other words, ready for sadness. Oh. No, I haven't met Nafuma yet. I I miss when Raftalia used to look like that. <laughs> well. Yeah, until she meets somebody, that's what her answer's gonna be. She likes you, Raftalia, take the hint. <laughs> like a shield hero, or... <laughs> yes, just like that, and then everything goes bad. Fate is such a funny thing, isn't it? <sighs> that shirt's not big enough for you, buddy. It's a sad event, but I do enjoy seeing them hold hands with each other like that. Very cute. Why should we spare your life? It has no value. Now it's just poke. Yes, you scumbag. I was starting to get it. Man, you could just really see that anger and hatred in her eyes, her face. I've really seen Rob Tully like that before. Very understandable, of course. It's just so funny how quickly I'm filled with rage as soon as Malty's on screen. Even if it's a shot I've seen before of her, it just, it just, it's like a magical effect, really. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't help that I now associate her with a certain real-life voice actress who I'm not going to name, but if you're familiar with that drama at all, you'll know who I'm talking about. Really such a cool opening. What are they doing at the end there? Like somebody a spirit bomb together? A really cool ending shot to it too. Rough Talia. This is all about her. If you want him to do that, all I have to do is poke. Well, obviously, but I'm not sure it's the sort of thing that apologizing makes up for. <sighs> Do it, Ralph Talia. You know you must. Make me feel better at the very least. She's also gotten taller, but I guess that's not the point. And yeah, I knew this is how the scene would go. These are how these scenes always go. At least hit him with a whip a couple times. That's not true, you'd still be better. You might lose some points morality-wise, but you'd still be much better than him. 
because that's a really low bar. Yeah, of course, that's what he does. Good, now you have your excuse. Kill him, Rough Tally, it's self-defense. Ooh. Uh... Yes, do it. And there we go. Good job, Rough Tally, I knew you had it in you. I'm sorry I doubted you. Yeesh. Oh, is he gonna fall through the window? Well, I guess gravity is what really killed him. Okay, we got confirmation on that, I guess. As long as he's dead, that's what matters. I don't care if it's Rock Talia that did it. It's okay, it's all good. No, 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 no need to feel bad at all, Rough Talia, seriously. There's no reason for you to feel bad. First Aqua Heal. Sounds like a really useless spell. First you gotta, you know, make sure he's actually dead. Because she was one of them. Yes. Exactly what I said. Don't know why you guys are acting like that's a surprise. So will we meet anyone we remember that she knows down here? I keep forgetting that she looks a lot older, but there really hasn't been a lot of time passing since she was a slave. It really hasn't been that long. But her Growth, physical growth throws me off a little bit. <sighs> Just want to give her a head pat so badly. That's so much to ask. I doubt that will go as you think it will. She always is. At least it seems to be going well, her declaration there. But, you know. We know where Raftali ended up, so... Yes, thank you for reminding me of that. I don't want you to cry either. That would hurt me too much. Yeah, that inspires others to do the same, of course. Yeah, this is when things get worse. I don't think that's what this is. They look like the face of help to you, because they don't to me. Uh, just had a step on the flag, didn't you? I don't really want to watch this part. At least they have each other right now, but... It's probably a ha hoping for too much for that girl to still be alive and well, but... It'd be nice for Rough Talia's childhood friend to still be around. Well, she wasn't exactly in a great situation when you found her. Yeah. Nobody seems to be here. <sighs> well then, stop. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> I 
<laughs> well, he saves one of you. And man, is this sad. <sighs> he doesn't look so well, which isn't surprising. I remember getting stepped on, stomped on. I don't think you are. Uh. I couldn't quite hear you. I understand that, but we can't really do that. Oh, it's a little flag. Oh, God. Why must you hurt me like this show? Ugh. You're breaking my heart. Ugh. Uh... Please just be sleeping. What if I don't want to? Or is this her going somewhere else? Yeah. So I guess that was the last time she saw her. Don't worry, the slave merchant's a pretty cool guy, for the most part. You know, as far as slave merchants go. Well, don't sound too upset about it. But yeah, so far, definitely looking like she's not still around. I would have loved to have seen a reunion between them, but I don't see it happening anymore. <laughs> uh, okay, Ralph Talia, you'll remember how to smile again. I Trust me. The shield hero that you've been waiting for to save you actually does, so... Oh? Is it, is it actually R Rifada, whatever her name was? Or is it somebody else? Oh, another one. Well, regardless of who they are, who they are it's nice that they can rescue some people. Oh, is this the actor? Is this, the, is this the, the one that counts? Well, it's a girl. Yeah, I think that's... somebody that we know. So, I guess that's something. I guess it wasn't a girl. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Let's cut through those chains. Well, yeah, I've grown a little bit since we last saw each other. I know she's not the small lolly she was before, but she's still rough, Talia. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> and now you just blew the secret. Good going. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> At least we got some kind of reunion here. They're my party. One of which is my master. 
Yep, he rescued her. Like she always thought. We'll make you all better, don't worry. <laughs> yes, he's finally rescued you. A little bit later than Rob's Talia, but he's just rescuing you. Would have. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like that past tense. Uh, some of you. Uh, wow. Uh, uh. Oh god. Oh god. And oh she She even has the flag still. Uh. Uh. It's really not your fault. She was pretty nice. More than just meet him. Don't be that way. <sighs> Just focus on what you can do now. Yeah, focus on what good we've done here rather than what we failed to do. That's what I'm trying to do. I would have rather have traded her for him, I'll be honest, but still. <sighs> it's been a very sad episode. That's not true. Avtalia did nothing wrong. Yeah, you did a lot for him especially. He was in a really dark place before, and you helped a lot with that. Don't sell yourself short, Avtalia, please. You were so tiny and cute. Now you're a big bad warrior fighting alongside the shield hero. Saving people. Yes. There's less important characters that are alive because of you. Yes, please stop crying. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, that's the main thing to focus on. Stopping this from happening anymore if we can. There we go. There's a smile that I knew you had. I'm still very sad about what happened to Rifana, though. I had a little bit of hope, and it was just kind of destroyed in front of me. <laughs> uh, you're going to kill me. Yeah, I mean, we could always bury her there. That'd be something if we have time for that. <sighs> yeah. It's a riot or something. I don't really care anymore. Uh. What now? He's still alive. Guess why he said he was dead. They lied to me. Uh. Think so. <sighs> oh, wow. That looks like a problem. I think you're gonna, gonna be killed by that thing. <laughs> yeah. I thought it would be eaten, but that's that works too. And then it's over. Uh, uh it's really not fair. Like it was a bit of an emotional roller coaster of an episode. When they first went down there, I thought to myself, hey, there could be a good chance that they'll rescue this Rifana girl. That's what I was like besties with the Raftalia. And then the flashbacks kept going, and I was like, okay, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think I, I think she, it's good that she's kind of like, I think she got the short end of the stick here, and she's just not going to be around anymore. So then I accepted that she is probably dead. And then it got to the whole, we started to find survivors thing, and I was starting to build up a little bit of hope that she might still be there. Then they got to the third instance of saying, hey, I found someone. And then my hope was at a maximum. It was at a maximum that we'd find Rifana. I was like, wow, she might actually be there. And they went in there. And I was like, huh, is that, is that her? I don't, it doesn't really look like her, but maybe she is. I don't know. It's kind of dark. And then, it, it, no, it wasn't, wasn't her. And at that point, my hope dropped noticeably, but it was still there. And then we had Raftalia go to a different cell and... We saw her reaction, and at that point, I was like, no. it, No, it's not going to happen. And to make matters worse, we actually saw what was left of her in there. The Lowly Old Queen, that's an interesting title. But yeah, anyway, the point is, th th this episode shattered my heart into tiny little pieces, and it was very unpleasant. It was a good episode, though. It was a good episode, definitely. The fact that it was able to play ping pong with my emotions so effectively, you know, like, that's got to count for something. But anyway, yeah, the episode, it was all about pretty much Raftalia, her backstory, which I've been interested in for, in for in a while. I mean, we got enough of it to build a general picture, you know. She was part of a village, a village got attacked, and the aftermath led her to being a slave. Like, we, we had the idea, the general idea of it for a while, but... 
we got some more specifics with this episode, you know, specifics on our treatments, on some of our friends, and all that stuff. And yeah, I loved seeing all the stuff between Raftali and, and Rifana. It was all really cute and fun stuff, and I was really... I'd, I'd like to see it. I was hoping we'd get to see maybe some more of that, at least for a few seconds after she rescued her. They could be like, yay, I missed you. Yay, it's, we get to see each other. I love you. It's great. See, I got to meet up with the shield hero. He got to rescue us. See, I told you. We got some of that with the other with the other character, I guess. But I wanted that for Ralph Rifana. I wanted that for her. She was the one that I was most interested in in the flashback, to, nobody, not to nobody's surprise. <clears throat> she was quite clearly the one that was more close to Ralph Talia than anyone else, even uh, Kiel, whatever his name was. Uh, definitely. But no. She got chosen to go somewhere else, and Rifana didn't, so that's that was the difference, you know. That was the difference. Rautalia really wanted to, to bring the village back to its glory days and, you know, really work things out, get back to some happiness, but that was taken away when people showed up, as it's usually the case. And yeah, it, it was sad seeing the body and all that, but once I saw the flag, that that brought it up another level of sadness. That's when tears actually started to come out of my eyes. That's what made the difference for me. But it was pretty sad before that and still after that. I should have been known better than to believe that when they said the guy was dead. Of course he wasn't. Of course he wasn't. But yeah, I think this might have been the saddest episode of the show so far. I, I think... I th I'm fairly I'm fairly sure on that. But uh, you know, it was too late. But Elisa Shield Hero did eventually come for her and did rescue her. Sort of, I guess that's something to be happy about. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. That that's probably all I really had to say on the episode. Now that I'm looking back at Rifana. Yeah, she definitely does look different enough from Keen that it's I probably shouldn't have mistaken her for him at all, but I really wanted her to still be alive, you know? You know? Why did he have to survive and she didn't? Like I don't like to have to pick favorites like this, but I would have rather her survived. I, this is my reaction. I gotta be honest about my feelings, and that's what my feelings are on it. I would have rather have had her. I would make that trade in a heartbeat. But anyway, yeah, the guy's still alive. He summoned some powerful dragon thing that's gonna be hard to fight, and we're gonna have to fight that next episode, so hopefully that goes well. Good thing we got a shield. So yeah, let's see how that goes next week. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.